if the distance between two points x comma 7 and 1 comma 15 is 10 find the value of x so let us say that the point a is x comma 7 and b is 1 comma 15 it is given that the distance between a and b a b is 10 so now we will find the distance between these two points using distance between two points formula which is d is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let us consider this as x1, y1 and x2, y2. So AB is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square which is 1 minus x whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is 15 minus 7 whole square is equals to 10. Now we will square on both sides to get rid of this root. So once we square this root will go. So we will expand this in the form of A minus B whole square. A square which is 1 b square which is x square and 2ab is minus 2ab 2 times 1 is 2 so 2x plus this is 15 minus 7 15 minus 7 is 8 8 square is 64 and square of 10 is 100 because we are squaring on both sides so now i will write it as x square minus 2x now 1 plus 64 is 65 and if we transpose this 100 on left hand side so here it will be 0 x square minus 2x this is minus 35 is equals to 0 we have to solve this equation using factorization method which is easy so we have to find the factors of 35 to get 2 so we can write this equation as x square minus 7 times 5 is 35 and 7 minus 5 we will get 2 so I will write this x, x square minus 7x plus 5x minus 35 is equals to 0. So what we did, we have just written minus 2x in terms of minus 7x plus 5x. Now in these two terms, we can take x as common. Here 1x is remained and minus 7. And in these two terms, we can take 5 as common which is x minus 7 is equals to 0 again in these two terms x minus 7 is common so we will write x minus 7 outside and x plus 5 is equals to 0 now either of these is 0 so if we equate x minus 7 is equals to 0 and x plus 5 is equals to 0 transpose this 7 there so you will get x is equals to 7 and x is equals to minus 5 so the value of x is either x is equals to 7 or x is equals to minus 5 find the values of y for which the distance between the points p 2 comma minus 3 and q 10 comma y is 10 units so it is given that p is 2 comma minus 3 and q is 10 comma y and it is also given that the distance between p and q is 10 units so now we have to find the value of y so we will write the distance between two points p and q using the formula of distance between two points which is d is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square let us say that this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so pq is square root of x2 minus x1 which is 10 minus 2 whole square plus y2 is y y minus of minus plus 3 whole square is equals to 10 now let us square on both sides so if we square on both sides we will get off this square root so 10 minus 2 is 8 8 square is 64 plus we have to expand this y plus 3 whole square which is in the form of a plus b whole square you can write it as a square plus b square is 3 square 9 plus 2ab is 
टू टाइम्स वाई टाइम्स थ्री टू टाइम्स थ्री इज सिक्स सिक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन टेन स्क्वायर इज हंड्रेड बिकॉज वी आर स्क्वायरिंग ऑन बोथ साइड्स नाउ वी विल राइट इट एज वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स वाई एंड वी विल एड दिस सिक्सटी फोर प्लस नाइन विच इज सेवेंटी थ्री नाउ ट्रांसपोज दिस हंड्रेड ऑल्सो दिस साइड विच वी कैन राइट इट एज माइनस हंड्रेड इज इक्व टू जीरो Now y square plus six y, seventy three minus hundred is minus twenty seven is equals to zero. This is a quadratic equation. We have to solve this using factorization method. So we have to get six from the factors of twenty seven. So we can take it as nine and three. Nine three is a twenty seven, and the difference between nine and three is six. So we can write this as x square plus six y. We can write as nine y minus three y minus twenty seven is equals to zero. Now in these two terms we can take y common. So y plus nine is remained. Now here in these two terms we can take minus three common. So y plus nine is equals to zero. Again in these two terms we can take y plus nine is equals to Y plus nine as common, so here y minus three is equals to zero. Now either of this and this is zero, so we can equate y plus nine is equals to zero, and y minus three is equals to zero. So y is equals to minus nine, or y is equals to plus three. So the value of y is either minus nine or minus three. Sorry, plus three. I will write it here again. Y is equals to minus nine or three.